Eric Hellman, uh, tell me about Glue Jar. Okay, be happy to. <laughs> so, uh, Glue Jar is a new business that is working to uh, create, uh, or not create ebooks, but to take books and uh, convince publishers and authors to relicense them as Creative Commons ebooks that can be uh, used for free by anyone anywhere. And the way we're going to do that is by using the public radio, public broadcasting model. For those, uh, for a radio station, for example, uh, you have a fixed cost that you need to run the station for a year. And you raise money through a pledge drive. And once you've raised enough money, uh, because you have uh, big fixed costs but zero incremental costs, you can afford to serve everybody and the radio is free for everyone to listen to. So what we want to do that is, do is do the same thing but for every book that's been published on a book by book basis. So if there's a particular book that's important to you and it's so important that you're willing to pay to make it free to everybody, uh, we're going to put you together with all the other people who feel like that. And if there are enough people who feel strongly about it and are willing to support it with pledges, um, uh, then uh, we will pay the rights holder uh, to reissue the book as a Creative Commons edition. Are you aiming initially at um, current popular books or backlist books? So the book market is actually many, many different markets, and there are many, many different genres of, of, or types of books. And we don't know, uh, not having done this experiment before, we don't know what books will work best or what markets will work best. Uh, it could be uh, monographs that are currently uh, uh, published mostly by university presses. It could be uh, uh, backlist romance novels. It could be uh, books about um, uh, uh, medical self-help books. Uh, it could be obscure uh, historical information books. We don't know in advance, so we're going to try lots of things and, um, and see what, what things works best. I know this is a silly question, but do you have any idea what a reasonable, uh, what, what price a publisher or a rights holder is going to expect for a, a book that is not a current bestseller, but um, let's say is a backlist book, I mean, a order of magnitude range? Well, it depends a lot on how rational the rights holders are. Uh, we're hoping that some of them will be rational. Um, you can look at the present value of the income stream that a book generates and say that that's the value uh, of, of the book to the author. And uh, what Glue Jar would do is just replace that stream of revenue from sales and royalties with a lump sum payment. Um, when publishers sell backlists to other publishers, uh, the sort of value that they assign to books tends to be about two times the previous year's sales, uh, which for a backlist title won't be that much. Um, other ways you can value books, you can take, we, you, you can easily find out roughly how many copies exist in libraries and uh, multiply that by an acquisition price. So there are a lot of ways we can assign sort of rough values to, to the term of copyright licenses that we're, we'll be acquiring. Yeah, I, people may not be aware of how quickly, uh, how steep the curve of fall off is of most books. Well, I think most authors... The tail gets look, they very at, long very fast. They look at their royalty <laughs> statements, they have a pretty good idea of what it's worth to them. Have you had any uh, successes yet? So we've been, although I've been working on this idea for about six months, I've only started hiring people in the last three weeks to start uh, <clears throat> uh, building the site and reaching out to rights holders. Uh, so I have one, uh, one person who 
uh, was a, a VP at Random House and has been working as a literary agent for the past six years. And uh, she spent last week at BEA going around to all her literary agent friends and telling them all about the model. And there's quite a lot of interest, so I only hope it works. Thank you very much.